Hey there, I'm Farhan Tipu and welcome back to the Indulge Gadget Show. The Samsung Flip 5 has taken the market by storm with its innovative and flexible solution, appealing to individuals looking for a distinctive yet classical digital writing experience. I had the pleasure of reviewing this phone for a full 100 days as a tech lover, getting to know its features, capabilities and practical uses. I dug deep into its strengths and weaknesses throughout this time. For today's video, I will discuss my experiences, the advantages and disadvantages of the Flip 5 and a detailed evaluation of how it performed for me over the course of 3 months. First things first, the unboxing experience. Samsung here kind of failed to impress me with their packaging. Opening the box, you're greeted with the sleek Flip 5. Underneath, you'll find the usual suspects, a USB-C cable, one ejection pin and a manual. It's a straightforward unboxing experience without the charger provided. The Galaxy Z Flip 5 is built on two key pillars, a larger cover display and a much-awaited gapless folding mechanism. Samsung has finally upgraded to the new 3.4-inch flex window display, which accommodates cameras, creating a folder-like shape. While it's not as striking as its competitors, the Flip 5 offers me increased utility, serving as a camera viewfinder and at handling various tasks. While some consider this device's flip design to be a drawback, I consider it to be a feature and in fact one of the most useful elements of the phone. It does require an extra step to open and enter a workflow and I'm more likely to utilize this device for productivity while it's closed and less likely to open it as a means of escape. Like I'd already mentioned, the significant change in the Z Flip 5 lies in its redesigned flex hinge, allowing the device to fold flat with no wedge shape gap. This addresses concerns about aesthetics and potential damage to the internal display due to debris. The redesign also achieves water resistance, a feature previously challenging with other hinge implementations. Physically, the Z Flip 5 remains similar to its predecessor, maintaining the same weight, size and layout. The device weighs 187 grams with a USB-C port, primary speaker and microphone at the bottom. The slim slot on the left supports a single physical nano SIM but allows dual SIM connectivity with an eSIM. The right side houses the power button, side key fingerprint reader volume rocker all providing satisfying click action. In terms of handling, the slim profile and rounded edges contribute to a comfortable grip while the matte finish on the back not only adds to the aesthetics but also minimizes fingerprint smudges. The cream colorway along with the mint and lavender options offers a trio of pale choices with graphite carried over from the previous generation. Notably, the Z Flip 5 introduces a glossy surface departing from the frosted anti-glare finish of its predecessor. Just recently, they have also introduced four special edition colors which I have not personally seen in hand but they do look nice. The Z Flip 5 distinguishes itself with a notably larger outer screen display, a key highlight compared to the Z Flip 4. This expanded display covers a significant portion of the top half of the flip with a slight notch in one corner to accommodate the cameras. Internally, changes remain minimal but are indeed measurable. Like you've already heard me say, Samsung dubs the outer display the Flex window, featuring a 3.4-inch diagonal resolution of 720 into 748 pixel. Despite some pixels being sacrificed for the camera notch, the 306 ppi pixel density ensures satisfactory sharpness even if it fails slightly short of the main display's clarity. But for me personally, the dynamic AMOLED 2 into Infinity X display is a standout feature, offering one of the best looking displays in the market. However, the outer screen lags in refresh rate, capping at 60Hz, contrasting with its competitors like the Razer 40 Ultra, which can reach up to 144Hz on its cover. Coming to the internal display, the Z Flip 5 achieves 1600 nits. Samsung indicates a peak brightness of 1750 nits for the Z Flip 5, up from 1200 in the previous model. 
I had no problem when using the phone outdoors, even if there was harsh sunlight, watching content on this phone was satisfactory. The Galaxy Z Flip 5 is powered by a custom Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 SoC, equipped with 8 GB of memory. With a familiar 3700 mAh battery and a 6.7 inch dynamic AMOLED Infinity Flex Full HD display, boasting a 120Hz adaptive refresh rate, the Z Flip 5 delivers snappy performance. Running over 15 apps simultaneously hasn't caused any performance hiccups, showcasing the efficiency of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, which also enhances the gaming experiences and improved AI functionality. Notably, popular games like Call of Duty and PUBG run seamlessly. The camera hardware on the Z Flip 5 isn't significantly improved. However, it wouldn't be entirely correct to claim that the 5 and 4 are identical cameras. Samsung retains the camera system from the Z Flip 4 but enhances the picture quality using AI. The convenience of using the back camera system with the flex window is highlighted, particularly for selfies. The flex window serves as a valuable tool, allowing me to preview pictures before capturing them, ensuring that everyone and everything is in the frame for my group selfies. We get to see a dual camera setup here with a 12 megapixel wide lens and another 12 megapixel ultra wide lens. Optical image stabilization is also present here, and for the selfie camera, we can see a 10 megapixel sensor. I appreciated the accurate white balance in daylight and indoor settings, coupled with commendable exposure in various settings. The phone's reliable autofocus further contributed to its appeal, making it well suited for capturing the moments from my daily life. Moreover, the Samsung device delivered good detail in both still images and video recording using the primary and ultra wide camera. The video stabilization proved effective, a smooth recording experience, and management of image noise was notably adept. However, the drawback here is a missing dedicated telephoto lens, resulting in noticeably lower levels of detail in telephoto zoom compared to many other premium devices. Like I'd already mentioned, the Z Flip 5 is powered by a same 3700 mAh battery that the old model had, but it does a good job of pulling through till the end of the day. For heavy users, I feel that this phone can last for about half or three-fourths of the day, but with normal light usage, it can go on. I've only seen my battery drop to 10% at the end of the day, like when I'm going to reach home only usually by 10 p.m. Overall, the phone ensures a worry-free day of normal usage on a single charge, and in the past three months of using this cell, I never faced situations where my battery died suddenly or it was not enough for me. So let me end the video by telling you both the good and bad of my user experience. Let me start off with the good and then move on to the bad. The pros started off for me from the design, where it completely shuts and there's no gap seen. Of course, the flex display as well. Viewing content was also very good with color accuracy being good and bright. The snappy and fast responses thanks to the Snapdragon chipset was also a pro for me. Camera experiences for me was good, but it was not something that would make me feel excited. The only thing exciting while using the camera was that I could use the flex window while clicking pictures. The cons for me started off from the unboxing, where I didn't get to see a charger given. Considering how much I am paying for the cell, it would have been considerate of Samsung to have provided one charger. And it's not like they have a great battery house in the phone as well. Yes, it does pull through the day, but with no significant improvements. It's a con for me. The next con is in the camera for me where no telephoto lens is given. So let me know what are your thoughts on the Z Flip 5 and if this phone can flip your expectations or not. Thank you for joining us on this 100 day journey with the Flip 5. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, stay safe.